Every day when I come to the TV station to work, my job is to cover and report on the news of professional athletes. I'm around them all the time, but do I really understand their jobs? And do they deal with anything similar to what we deal with in the TV media? My best chance to find out was when I switched jobs with two Providence Bruins hockey players, forwards Brandon DeFazio and Justin Hickman. They anchored sports, and I tried to combine what I know about the television industry with being a professional hockey player for the Providence Bruins for a day. When we came in, the security guard thought I was a new signee. That was one of the new players. He happily helped me to the locker room. Didn't know that I was some prissy reporter. So in order to get ready for <clears throat> work, I had to tape up my shin pads, put on the skates, pants, shoulder pads, and elbow pads. And I always thought putting product in my hair was a hassle. Equipment's a little small. It's all right. Then it was time to go. How are we doing, boys? Good to see you. All right. Let me get a stretch in real quick. First, I consulted with Coach on who to target if I had to drop the gloves. Is there somebody I should go after? Yeah, no, he's kind of a wimpy guy right there. All right. He's the guy I would uh, Noted. Then I decided I needed my teeth. All right, I'm ready to go. Give me a puck. Yeah. I got the, I got the softest hands in this TV market, if you didn't know. They had me do some skating. <laughs> We did the tip drill. They sent me with a few passes. This is the neutral zone. My offhand. But that goal was on an open net. Next, I had to try to score on a professional goalie. I tried a deke, that didn't work. Then five holes, same result. Then I was denied on another little nifty attempt. But then... <laughs> At this point, I was feeling pretty good. I even thought the head coach who was on the ice was loving what he saw. But he just wanted to give me a pointer. I should have listened. That reminded me how pro athletes have to train to stay healthy all the time as best they can because they can't capitalize on opportunities or help their team while injured. That's it, I'm done. Needless to say, I was delighted to get back to the station, but luckily I didn't have to do much work once I got there. Let's call it a shift change. From Eyewitness News, this is Sports Rab. Mother Nature pushed back Red Sox opening day 24 hours, but that didn't get in the way of the excitement of baseball returning and the highly anticipated debut of new Red Sox ace David Price. Price and the Corey, and Corey Cub, Clubber <laughs> making it a pitching matchup for two former Cy Young Award winners. <laughs> first to Price, in some trouble in the second with runners at first and third, and he strikes out Marilyn Bird. And then Jan Uribe to get out of the inning unscathed. Top of three, Price getting some help from the offense. Mookie Betts sitting on this pitch and driving it to deep left. Get out of town! <laughs> <laughs> to hockey. And the Bruins' loss last night set the table for a huge showdown on Wednesday night with the Red Sox. Wait a minute, showdown with the who? You keep laughing at me the whole time, every time, so then I know I'm messing up. At least if, at least if I mess up and look at this, I don't know if I mess up. He said Red Sox. Big showdown between yeah. the Bruins and the Red Sox. Oh, did I? Oh. As for the Providence Bruins, they're in the line for the playoffs. And for more on them, let's go over to Brandon Fazio, who's at the three panel with Providence Journal's Mark Dever. Thanks, Justin. Uh, thanks, Mark, for being here. Appreciate it. Glad to be here. Um, obviously, with the playoffs around the corner, lots of questions to be asked about the P Bruins. Um, and I think the fans want to know, what do you think the key is for their success down the, down the road? Not to put too much pressure on you, Brandon, but you know, uh, guys like you and uh, and Griff and and some of the others are, are going to have to maybe chip in a little more offensively. Absolutely, I uh, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Back to you, Justin. 
Thanks, Brandon. I'm Justin Hickman, Eyewitness News Sports. Getting behind the scenes, to see uh, Brandon Fazio, little marble mouth, trying to spit out all of his words at the same time while reading. It was, uh, it was pretty funny and uh, you know, definitely uh, a lot harder than you think it would be. Well, I think it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> you know, like, um, I don't think we were prepared probably uh, to, to stay on pace with what the highlights were, were going. You know, you've got to try to somehow see where the highlights are at and you know, read it at the right time. As for me, I'm basically a hockey player now. Hey, Mark, you uh, forgot your makeup. Okay. Mark Dondero, Eyewitness Sports.